This is a neutron. And this is Tobias Schrader. He likes neutrons. At the Uli Center for Neutron Science, Dr. Schrader conducts experiments to analyze the structure of matter. Neutrons that hit a sample are scattered in all directions and recorded by a detector. Certain directions seem to be preferred over others, however, leading to the formation of so-called Bragg peaks. From these patterns, Schrader and a computer can deduce the molecular structure of a sample. But what about the neutrons not involved in Bragg scattering? They make up the largely uniform background scattering. With certain types of samples, the background signal is rather strong, almost drowning out the Bragg peaks. To improve on this result, it's important to understand the cause of the background scattering. All neutrons have a property called spin. So have most atomic nuclei. While Bragg scattered neutrons leave no trace in the sample, other neutrons will cause a change in the crystal, for example through spin interaction. This causes the memorably named nuclear spin incoherent scattering. These transitions do leave behind a trace at that particular lattice site. Remember how I said in film one that a neutron scattering process typically involved only a single quantum transition? This means that this particular neutron is done with the crystal and will not contribute to Bragg scattering. And this goes for all neutrons that leave a local trace. No special symmetry directions apply to them because they interact only with single nuclei. Therefore, they are scattered in all directions with almost equal probability. They are the ones that make up the background, the bulk of which comes from that nuclear spin incoherent scattering. Hydrogen atoms are the most susceptible to these spin flips. So a lot of hydrogen means more background scattering. But replace it with hydrogen's heavier sibling deuterium and you get less spin incoherent scattering. But at another JCNS instrument, the spin flips can in fact be to your advantage. Meet Sultan Demedis. She's a scientist at the Diffuse Neutron Scattering Spectrometer DNS. The basic experimental setup is the same. Neutrons, sample, detector. But this one has a few more tricks up its steel sleeve. It can record the spin changes of the neutrons. First though, the neutrons must go through a polarizer and only those with a certain spin orientation are able to pass through it. Inside, the detectors can record the spin direction of the scattered neutrons. Theoretically, one could use DNS to clean up Bragg peak measurements from background scattering, like in this example. But this isn't usually done. Instead, in DNS experiments, information about the neutron spins has its own value and is used to gain unique insights into, for example, the magnetic properties of samples. Take this exotic magnetic phase transition in a ceramic crystal. Colleagues of Dr. Demirtis have had a closer look with the DNS and found a new transition mechanism comparable to the Higgs mechanism from particle physics. Such discoveries help us to understand the fundamentals of magnetism. The new found phenomena and materials could then, for example, increase the performance and energy efficiency of information technologies. And there's so much more we can learn from neutrons. Maybe next time.